All right, just gonna do a quick little video here of the property, um, just so you can kind of get a thought of how it lays out here. Um, I'm looking out towards the road right now. We end up just camping right in the middle of the easement for the weekend, so we could work on cutting our way back to the lot. Um, back to our lot is about 600 feet from the road. So I'm about halfway from our lot to the road right now, so you can just see to see the sand out there where the road is at. So our most of our work this weekend was from this point on. Sun's kind of gonna get a glare here. But we cut out, oh, I suppose a couple dozen trees out of this easement right here. These flags are marking the center of the easement. So I got an idea of how far to go either side of the easement. Uh, easement's 30 feet. So here is our corner stake right here. And then we go 200 feet that direction. So we, we really busted it yesterday. It was uh, close to 90. Uh, the whole family and Butch were here. He brought his little brush mower over too. We cut down and just kind of stacked all the wood up alongside the road for right now. We'll get back to that a later day to cut all the stumps off and stuff to get them flush to the ground. Our big stack of wood um, yeah everybody really worked hard so this is kind of the our opening that was here it was all raspberry bushes and Trenton probably spent an hour or so out here yesterday with that brusher and mowed everything down kind of reclaim the uh, opening here again it's nice big pine trees like right on the front edge of the property so we're gonna I think we're gonna try and hang on to that tree and kind of loop the driveway around it this area back in here is a little lower um, so we'll probably just leave this area as is, you know, if anything we might get in there and do some selective brushing, but nice big trees in here. Um, do get a little shade from them, but we do we do have a pretty big opening, so the sun really gets in here, but which is good. The ground can dry out and stuff then, and brushing this all out yesterday will definitely help for drying the ground out. This is the this flag over here is still marking the center of the easement. So the easement goes 15 feet either side of that flag. So for right now, um, when we're done with the camping trip, we're gonna park the camper right here on the easement because we're not obviously blocking anybody's access back to the state land back here, which, you know, we're not blocking anything. And there is an easement that continues back to the state land yet. Uh, that flag back there in the woods is really close no, that, I'm sorry, that flag back there is 30 feet off the property line. So I'm trying to mark my back edge as far back as we can actually build something. So 30 more feet beyond that flag is actually <clears throat> the corner of the property, which we have not found that stake, and I don't think we ever will. I'm just going to have to determine it myself. Um, I think I'm going to get a compass up here and try and do that. So, um, so yeah, it's pretty thick woods in there. Uh, we are kind of up on the highest part of the area here now, kind of on a ridge. Once you walk into that woods a ways, it drops off the backside then. It kind of looks down into the woods, and we've been hearing turkeys, and Trenton's seen a couple deer in there yesterday, so it's kind of neat. Uh, wildlife right away. Uh, we did acquire this big old POS with the property uh, for right now. This morning, actually, I brought some garbage bags down here. I'm going to clean out a bunch of the junk, and I'm just going to use it as a shed for right now. Uh, I think this will work good. I can keep some tools in here. This stuff right here is going to stay. I already got a few other things in the cabinet in there, but I think for now, while we're working up here, this thing is going to be uh, an advantage to us. We use it as a shed, and then I think I'll drag it home, pressure wash it, and put it on Craigslist as a vintage camper and sell it for like 500 bucks. I'm sure I'll be able to get something out of it. <clears throat> I'll put new tires on it and tow it home. All these retro guys now wanting to pull these things behind their hot rods and stuff i think this will be an easy sale so so that's that uh did come with a nice fire pit already and we've been burning since friday night we've burned up a ton of stuff i told everybody as you're walking down the road or walking through here pick something up and just throw it in the fire so we did uh burn up a lot of stuff here Came with an outhouse. Uh, nobody's been brave enough to try it out yet. Uh, there might be a day I might be the brave guy to give it a whirl. So we'll we'll see about that. Trenton seems to think there's something living in it. 
this is kind of the higher spot back in here is the basically highest part of the property is in here and I think our first order of business is to get Jay's cat up here with his brusher which will chew up everything and drive through here and take out all this underbrush and um, leave the bigger standing trees and then we'll determine where there's gonna be a septic and our cabin and garage location for the best that fits the land here so it does kind of slope down out in here it kind of runs down into that low area down there so we do want to try and build up on this higher area back here as much as we can so we don't have to bring in masses amount of fill there is some nice little pine trees and stuff around here and i like pine trees so we're going to try and save some of these there's one here and it's a couple back here and if i have to dig them up and move them that's what i'll do back here in the woods i do have flag right there um, yeah, it's right in there so there's a flag this kind of represents our back edge of our property so the clearing pretty much goes as far to the edge of the property is that we'd actually be able to build so we don't really have to cut anything more out back on this edge back here and then somewhere over there is the other corner stake so but we do go it's another 60 feet from that from that flag it goes back here I'll just walk back there it goes back here another 60 feet right right back here there's from what I can come up with that is our back corner right there so it's uh, definitely right up on the top of this ridge they like said when you come over here you're at the you're at the highest point and then I know the camera doesn't really show it but it's it probably drops you know it's probably 30 40 feet you know just as far as you can see at the camera that it's already dropped in elevation so it's kind of a I haven't walked back there very far yet but uh, we've been busy doing other things there is a you could just faintly make out the neighbor's shed over there it's a shed next to his cabin and we walked over there yesterday and he actually takes and mows he's kind of got the whole uh easement of the state land brushed out over there and it looks really nice his backyard's really big because he kind of cleaned out that easement which if i wanted to clean out our easement we could too there's no restriction to it there's nobody saying you can't clean up the easement um so i did check with the county and they said they're not going to come do anything with the easement and if you want to do something with the easement that's up to you so uh, the easement is just an access and i feel like if i clean the easement up a little bit it kind of makes our backyard seem a lot bigger then so just kind of walking down into here so i'm heading downhill at a pretty good you know definitely not flat so this is kind of a look from our back edge back here and it is kind of a little bit open in here a little bit so but I think once we get Jay's brusher in here spend a couple hours in here with that it'll look like a totally different area in here so so yeah I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of right on the edge back here right now so let me walk back out back into the opening here again and I'll just conclude this video so on to kind of put this together kind of keep a record of what we got going on and and our steps our progress a couple years be kind of neat to look back at these videos and seeing what we started with and what we have then so all right here's me looking back out and these are some neighboring trailers on another campsite over here, but it doesn't to me look like they've been in here for years. Uh, there's trees laying on their campers and, you know, maybe there'll be a way that we can kind of screen that off a little bit, but, you know, I'm gonna try and position everything that we're not really actually looking that way when we're trying to enjoy our place. But, you know, it is what it is. It's, we do, they were there when we bought the place and the nice part that we like is the privacy we're way back at the end 
We don't get the the hustle of the road out front. Uh, we've walked it the last two nights. We've gone for a walk in the evening, and the road down by the lake is extremely busy. Um, the road that we're off of, this dirt road, isn't as busy, and because there's not as many cabins on it, so that's kind of nice. I don't know if I could actually be right on the lake with that tar road and as many cars that go up and down that tar road and that none of them do the 20 mile an hour speed limit it is um, so this is kind of nice like I said, it's very private it's quiet back here um, we really enjoy it so uh, hopefully the next video is us up here with Jay's cat and getting some brush and getting some fill hauled in for the start of the garage build so